Hello everyone. Now we will see the concept of SSL protocol. This concept already we have seen with the previous video also. Now let us go in detail. So as we know there are four uh, different protocols available with SSL. The first one is handshake protocol. Second one is SSL record protocol. Third one is change cipher protocol and fourth one is alert protocol. So now let us see each of them individually in detail. So the first one comes the handshake protocol. So this is the handshake protocol. I have shown it with the help of the diagram. So as we can see there is a client and there is a server and there are set of message exchange between the client as, and server as a part of handshake protocol. So overall there are four phases available in the handshake protocol. Now let us see each one of them. In the phase one it is establishing security capabilities. Now let us see what are the messages sent in the phase one. The first message sent from the client to the server is client hello message. This is the first message exchanged during the handshake and this message is sent from client to the server. The second message is server hello. This server hello message is the server's response to the client. Okay, then comes phase two. In the phase two, the server may send certificate key exchange and request certificate. The server signals the end of hello message in phase two. Now let us see what are the messages available in the phase two. The message is the certificate message. This message is sent by the server uh, to the to authenticate itself if required. Okay. Then the next message sent by server is server key exchange. After the certificate message, the server sends a server key exchange message which includes its, its contribution to the pre-master secret. Next message is again sent by server to the client which is called as certificate request. This server message may require the client to authenticate itself and the server sends a certificate request message in phase 2 that asks for certification in, the, certification in the phase 3 from the client. Then the last message in phase 2 is server hello done. In this message as, we, as I said this is the last message of the phase 2. It is indicating to the client that the phase 2 is over. Okay. Then comes the phase 3. Phase 3 is all about the client sent certificate if required. Okay, now let us see what are the different messages sent by the client to the server. The first message is certificate which is certifying itself. That means the client is certifying itself to the server. Okay, and the next message is client key exchange. It is the second message sent during the third phase of handshaking. Here the client is providing the keys. Okay, then the third message in the phase 3 is certificate verify. If the client has sent a certificate declaring that it owns a public key in the certificate, then it needs to provide that, prove that it knows the corresponding private key also. Okay, that is in the phase 3. Now, the last phase of handshake is change cipher suit and finish the handshake protocol. So now let us see what are the messages sent. The first two messages are sent from client to server and second two are sent by the server to client. Now let us see the change cipher specification. This message is sent by the client to show that it has moved all of the cipher suit set and the parameter from the pending state to active state. Then comes the finished message. This is again sent from client to the server. This message is announcing that the handshaking protocol by the client has ended. Okay, then the message uh, is sent from the server is change cipher specs uh, specification. The, the server sent this message to show that it has also moved all the message of the cipher suit set and parameter from pending state to active state. And the last message of handshake protocol is again sent from server to the client that is finished message. This message is sent by the server specifying that the handshaking is totally completed. So this is all about the handshake protocol. The next protocol is SSL record protocol. Now let us see that 
So this is the SSL record protocol. The SSL record protocol uh, is basically providing two services for SSL connection that is the confidentiality and message integrity. Now let us understand that with the help of a diagram here as we are seeing there is an application data block. Okay, This data block is fragmented into the block of 2 to the power 14 bytes or less than that. So here I am showing the entire application data has been fragmented into the different blocks. Okay, once it is fragmented, now the data is compressed. This data compression is optional in nature. And finally, a MAC is added. MAC is added to the compressed message using the hash algorithm. Then the compressed fragmented and MAC are encrypted by using some encryption algorithm and finally we are appending it by using the SSL record header. Okay, so this these are the steps involved with the SSL record protocol to provide confidentiality and message integrity. Then the third set of protocol available with SSL is change cipher protocol. This is one of the simplest protocol used by the SSL record protocol. It consists of single message of single byte with value 1. And the process, sorry, the purpose of this message is to cause pending state to be copied into the current state which updates the cipher suit to be used on this connection. Okay. And the last protocol is the alert protocol. It is used to convey SSL related alert to the peer entity. It is also used for reporting errors and abnormal condition to the protocol. Thank you.